Okay, cool. All right. Let me teach you guys how this system works right now. And keep in mind that it is probably not going to be super balanced, but that's fine. It's for fun. There's one change, but I'll tell you that later. Okay, so I'm going to do the... Um, yeah, okay, first off, this is... Uh, the title of this game is not official yet, but um, I will just give you some some setting stuff really quick. Um, okay, so the way so basically what's happening here is um, this giant triangle is the city uh, currently called Kalis Prime, um, and the city kind of has like the bottom areas, which is right here, um, and then it leads up to the top area, which would be like up here. So basically going from here to here. This would be like the bottom of the city, this would be the top. Um, the story is, is that the emperor just mysteriously died out of nowhere of this uh, capital. Um, and this capital is super, super rich. Uh, it has just like loads of money, loads of resources. And uh, the emperor mysteriously dying was not something that anybody calculated. So all of these different factions are kind of vying to take over this, uh, take over this city in this time of turmoil. Um, we've got the first in the conflict, which would be the Goth Order. They're kind of like um, cultists, uh, prophets. Uh, essentially, this tile right here represents the Great Seer. So he is calling all of the weary to come to him for ascension and healing. And the Goth Order is kind of the main thing fronting that. So the orange pieces and the orange player is all the Goth Order. And throughout the game, they're going to be using their actions to get uh, these forces from the bottom of the map up to this top triangle right here. And once they do that, they need to get five of their guys up here and then they'll have five ascensions and win the game. Um, so they're just trying to get all of their pieces up to this triangle essentially. Um, and then the other piece of the conflict is the Crate Consortium. <coughs> they're trying to do, basically they're, they're looking at the situation as, oh, this is a really, really bad situation. Let's profit off of it. So they're shooting down with stations and markets and they're trying to basically make money. So they have a fund track, which is right here, and they're trying to get 10 funds in order to win the game. Um, and the way they mostly get funds is by other players using their bases, which they start off the game with two. Um, they also can get funds by having other players use their assets, which are these cubes right here. Um, so they're, they're basically trying to get other players to use their stuff in order to get funds. They can also earn funds themselves by building markets. And once they get all of their markets out, they'll start just earning funds automatically if no player removes it. So that's kind of their deal. Um, and then is this we've got... the Kybercorp logo? Yes, this is Kybercorp. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is perfect. A, every single thing that you see is uh, subject to change. <laughs> so I just, I put these like symbols together pretty quick. Um, okay, so the Covenant Agency is the, the cops. So they're, they were already in the city. They were governed by the previous emperor. So their whole thing is they want to maintain law and order. Um, until the heir to the emperor returns. Um, the way that they do that is they need to get three bases out. So they need to get two of these bases because they already have one. They also need to get six prisoners um, with their secure action, which you'll see. But they, they, attention, they essentially collect these triangle pieces, which doesn't show triangle in the prison because, like I said, this is all work in progress. But they'll collect pieces around the board and put them up into their prison slots. Um, and they just need to collect six of these guys uh, in here and have three bases. Um, essentially to keep order in the city and that's how they win because they kept order because they're the cops and they don't like any all, they don't like all this foot traffic happening right now. Um, okay, and then the last position is the usurper who is essentially the, uh, the, the person who's a really shady figure trying to illegally take the throne via influence, political influence. So they have a cube for each of the other three factions in the game. Um, a, a potentially, it doesn't have to be these three factions. I want it to be more of a fluid system, but at this moment, these, the three, these three are the current factions in the game, so they have these three cubes. They're trying to get their influence with each faction into the positive zone right here. And they're trying to have uh, all three spies of theirs on the board. Um, once they've done that, they've secured the city properly in order to become the next emperor before the heir returns, essentially. Um, and they're going to be influencing um, these forces in order to get 
uh, influence with them. They're going to be campaigning to them. Um, they can also uh, sit on stuff and uh, basically take the reward from other players while they're sitting on other players' stuff. So they're really rude. Let me Less talk a, a little bit about the, the mechanics of it before you guys choose who which position you want to play in the conflict. Um, so uh, the main things that you need to know are that there are <laughs> three types of different movement in the game. Um, and that's denoted by the city being kind of separated by multiple different concepts. So right now, the current terminology is that these triangles here uh, are called sectors. Um, forces, like triangle pieces, can move by only sectors. So if you have a triangle piece like this, a force, they can move from one sector to an adjacent sector. And the adjacent sectors would be the long side of each. So they're, they're adjacent to three sectors at all time. So this guy could move here and then here if he had two moves. Does that, does that make sense? No. Yep. Okay. The other type of movement is zone movement. This would be like the representative of like uh, higher, uh, slightly higher authorities. So they wouldn't be like ground level. They would be like slightly above. So this is where the, <clears throat> cop, the cops move, which are these squares right here. They're called uh, enforcers and they move by zone. So a zone is the two sectors that are the same color so right now this is a blue zone and this would be a yellow zone um, and they occupy spaces inside of zones so if this enforcer was to move to an adjacent space or a zone they would move here to here or here to here they couldn't move from here to here per se because these aren't considered adjacent just because it's the point and not the the edge or sorry, I, I, I always get that point. I need to figure out that term, but basically the line is the adjacency, not the, the little edge of them. Does that make sense? All right. Oh, okay. Yeah. So like this guy could move here to here, but he couldn't move like from here to here uh, because this is just the corners. Yeah, you can't move by corners. That's it. Okay. So that's the zones. Then there is a third type of movement to, <laughs> to, to basically give the idea that the city like goes from ground level to the toppest tier. The political level is kind of more on a district level, um, which is how the usurper will move. So the usurper moves on the circles, so the, which are called districts. Um, this is where buildings are occupied or occupy. So uh, the usurper can move from here and follow the lines to another adjacent district from here to here from here to here. They can't pass Covenant Enforcers though, so they would be blocked by this. Um, so they can they can basically just move like this and chill. Uh, yeah, so that's the three types of movement. There's zone movement, there's sector movement, <coughs> and there is district movement. Um, do you have any questions so far? Oh, I'm good. No. Sweet. So each faction is gonna have a hand of 12 cards and um, on your turn, uh, sorry, you're gonna have a deck of 12 cards. On your turn, you're gonna have a hand of three cards. Um, and what you're gonna do is you're going to do two operations. Um, these cards are called operations. Um, you're gonna do two, uh, but the way that you can do that is you can either play the card, do the, the operation that it says, or you can discard two cards and do a non-matching operation. Um, but you can do any one on your player board, essentially. So if that doesn't make sense, um, I could basically do a move action and do two moves. So I could go one and then two. And then I could discard both of these cards to do any of these actions if I wanted to, except for recruit or construct <coughs> or raise, because this, these, these three cards represent all three of those actions. So I could discard these two cards in order to do a battle or I could do discard these two cards to do a move does that make sense okay yeah. um, and when I do that that would be called an exert um, when you exert an action you grab your pawn your exert pawn right here and you cover up the action so let's just say I did another move I discarded both of these to do another move um, I'd put this pawn in exert move. Now, next time I do an exert, I can't do move because it's already exerted. I'd have to do a different action and then um, be able to move that cube back. So you can never exert and use an action that has the exert pawn on it. Does that make sense? Wait, that that means the um, for the next turn, right? 
Yeah, for a future turn, I wouldn't be able to s discard two cards to do a move because my exert cube or exert pawn is covering it. Oh gosh, okay. I would have to discard these two cards to do a construct action to get it off of move, and then my next turn I could discard two cards to do a move again. All right. Um, Makes so sense. Basically, you can't do like two moves in the same uh, it, two turns in a row because I found out that that was kind of broken. <laughs> uh, oh. So alternatively, though, you could totally play two cards for just their action. So I could do just a move two and then a recruit, and then that would be my turn. I would have one card left over. At the end of your turn, you're always going to draw up to three cards. Um, your actions are written down in detail on your player board. Um, I will teach. I will teach them, um, but I don't want to like bore you guys and go through every single action. So what I will have us do is, right now, I'm going to have you actually pick your faction, and discuss what you guys want to play or which position, and then we can kind of talk about like my advice for you know what what cards are good for you to do and like how you actually gain points. Um, so just quick reference again goth order they're swarming faction but they're like swarming up to this one tile oh actually wait before we even gosh before i go any further i did forget to teach one concept already and i'm very sorry um there is a concept in this game that is that is in movement i actually i wonder if my i forgot if i put a graphic for it because maybe i already oh i do actually have one cool so if you um if you alt this, you can zoom in and look at it really good. But the bottom piece there, where it says may jump to the opposite side of a base for one move, that is applicable with movement as well. So the bases, uh, if I, if you built a base here, for example, and your force was right here, for one move, you could move this piece from this side to this side, like Chinese checkers or like uh, checkers in general. Does that make sense? So you could jump this guy right here to here for one move because it's your base. Only if it's your base. Well, the other thing is that uh, the crate has open transport, so any player may actually use their bases for the purpose of movement when they do. Uh, the crate gains a fund, but you can. I could do this, and it would give the crate a fund, but I could use them at any time. Any player can use crate bases as well as their own. Cool. So that's just a little bit of the asymmetry coming in. But the, the Covenant can also use bases. It's one of their ways from getting... So they can use a base to jump like this and ignore that corner movement like that. Um, they can also use a base to jump like that, which is insane scale. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's a lot of It's them. a lot of movement for them. They can get some oh, good control shit. by playing out their bases. But their bases are expensive. So, um, yeah. Okay, so... Uh, so that so that that whole thing. Now the thing is, this is the funniest concept about the usurper. He's such an asshole. So if he's sitting right here, and a, a, a goth order force is right here, and the goth order jumps over this, the crate doesn't gain the fund, but the usurper gains an influence with goth order. So you can always jump over wherever he's sitting. You just give him a influence when you do so so he becomes like a movable the troll tool jump yeah exactly even if so. even if he's on like an empty space like right here it has to be another, supply? it has to be on another player's base oh, okay so he can like cover the effect of a base and make it basically oh wild oh for any player but he can't over. create a base by sitting nowhere well he can but that's a different action <laughs> Oh, he's great. Maybe. Okay, so oh yeah, it's fun. We'll see how this goes. And so, uh, yeah, yeah. So, okay, so you can either play the Goth Order, the Swarm Faction, get five guys up to this triangle, ascend to heaven, and win. Play the crate, collect money, do deals, deliver assets, win the game, make money, uh, covenant, secure, enforce, destroy, imprison, and try to buy enough time to get all your stuff together. The Usurper, troll. Gain influence with everyone, blow up stuff, rebuild stuff, lay down spies, campaign. Choose your positions. All right, you guys go first. Ryan or Jeffrey? <laughs> I'm okay with taking the goth order. Cool. All right, then I'll play Covenant Agency. <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you say it like that? <laughs> 
Coming in agency. Uh, I love how you guys left the most uh, complex two factions in rules wise to Josh, yeah, the biggest <laughs> AP, the biggest AP player. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you guys, you guys want you guys want me to take to uh, you know turn turn stunlock uh, crate on Kaiva Corp here? Okay. Uh, so who right. do you want to do you want to choose crate or do you want to choose usurper? I'll be uh, I'll be crate. Okay, cool. So I will be the usurper then. Sweet. I think good luck. Was... Good luck, everyone. Okay, cool. All right. So the the way the game goes is it starts with Goth Order, and then it goes to Crate, and then it goes to Covenant, and then it goes to Usurper, and then it repeats. That's the turn order. <laughs> Wait, how's that turn order decided? Right. Is it just <laughs> is that just how it is? It just basically right now uh, the way that I've been testing it is that it always starts with Goth Order and always ends with Usurper. And in between, there's like a general player order. So basically, like the crate's player order is always after goth, and then covenant's always after crate, and then usurper's always after bottom to the top. Yep, bottom to the top, exactly. Uh, so from the bottom of the board to the top of the board is the player order in activation, and it repeats. Um, I do want to do something really quick. I want to add a component. Um, Uh, how do I manually change the dice face? I forgot about that. How do you how do you hotkey that, Ryan? Wait, who did that? It was Ryan. I, it wasn't. I don't know how who did that, but I think oh. you can just right click and click rotation value. Oh, that's it. okay. Cool. So I just want to do this for my own personal self to track the rounds to see how long it goes. Uh, Ryan. Mm -hmm. It is your turn. You got to get five of these pieces yeah. to this triangle. Um, let me know so, if you have any questions yeah. first off. So the actions I can take on my turn are I can play one of my cards to do the action or play two of my cards to do any action except for the ones that are on the cards? Correct. That you and, discard. And can I do like any like a combination of those two different actions? Can I like play three cards to play? Oh, oh! Actions? You can only do a maximum of uh, two actions with your hand. Okay. Yeah. Um, also, one other thing I forgot to mention is that right now there is a grouping limit of four, so you can only have four of your guys in one sector at a time, and that same goes for the crate. They can be in the same space, like two opposing forces, but right now you can't have more than four, and you can't have more than four in one sector at one time. Um, so you can group up to four, but you can't have like five guys moving in one group, but with one move and you can move any number from one sector to an adjacent sector up to four. So you could go like one and then two. Mm -hmm. Yep. So there you go. Do I always start with this right, right base here. Uh, right now I just did it like this, but eventually there's going to be more open setup rules, I believe, where you can set up anywhere in the middle of the city. Crate can set up in the outer city. Uh, they can set up in the outskirts, and then the usurper has to start up here for now. But we'll figure it out. Right now this has just been like what's what I considered standard setup, so this would probably be the beginner game. <laughs> it could be right here, though. I mean, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> But it does. It does. It will matter a lot, actually. My left side's weak. <laughs> My left side's I'm weak. weak. Ah! Yes, you are. And what's wrong with that? Hey, this is a good sign, guys. It's not obvious what he should do. No, I think I'm you're just probably wrong. reading. No. Wait, and then how come? Wait, then the crate's assets are on the left too, bro. So he's going straight for an early cathedral. I dig that. And then he's gonna get his recruit. So he gets a guy at every, uh, every one of them. Yeah. What so the hell? His population is pretty good. His recruitment's really good. Um, yeah. 
That was a good first play. I like that. So then these cards go to your discard pile, and you just drop to three. And that's that's your turn. Good work. It's my turn. I played the game. You played the game. Oh, another roll that I did not tell. Um, you can never lose all of your bases. You can have one base always on the game. It becomes invincible when there's only one of your bases left on the map. Um, mm. Yeah. So you can never be fully wiped out currently. All right. All right, Josh, <laughs> you got a lot happening. Um, I just want to say- I have say, a lot of, yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, you are a little bit, you're on the like higher uh, rules heavier side. It's only because I had to define a lot of things with assets mostly. Um, so I do want to talk about assets really quick because every player can benefit from these assets. If you have one of your forces in a zone with an asset, which takes up a space in a zone, um, you control the asset. If you do not have any forces in the zone, the player with the most pieces in that zone controls the asset. So in the case of uh, this, the Goth Order would control this asset because they've got two to the Covenant's one inside this zone. Right. Does that make does sense? My base, does my base count as an asset or do, count as a, a unit? It does It does not. You So your, your role only applies that you control if you have a Crate Warrior. Oh, okay. The opposing players just have to have pieces in there, so their bases would count as adjacent to the zone, but yours don't because you're only looking for having a having a force in there to control your asset, basically. All right. Um, so the 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 reason why that matters is that on any at any time during a player's turn, they can spend an asset. Um, oh, you you can't do this, by the way, uh, Josh. Only other players can use this. For, for this purpose. But on any player's turn that's not the crate, if they control an asset cube, they can spend it to do any action on their board. They don't have it can oh, have it, it it can even have an exert cube on it or sorry, an exert token on it. Um they can just do the action. So you can that's how you can get more than two actions on your turn by controlling the what assets. The hell? Um the thing is when you use it though, it gives the crate a fund. So you have to weigh on is it worth worth it for me to get that extra action mm. to give them one more point to their victory condition? All right. Um, yeah, but besides that, uh, you can get new assets on the board by delivering them. You can literally place an asset anywhere on the board in a zone. So that's just like freedom. I think it's such a cool action. Um, you have uh, uh, five uh, assets total. Um, your whole early game goal is probably spending the assets to get bases out. Um, in order to try to rush this, in order to kind of automatically get funds and make other players destroy your bases. Or you can kind of play the more political route and try to put funds in areas that would really benefit players in early positions in order to have them spend them and get extra actions. But basically your, your focus should be to get your pieces in positions to build new bases and get assets on the board. Because you get, you get funds when you build new assets. Sorry, you get funds when you build new bases with your assets. That would be under construct. Let's see. Oh, I gotcha. Okay, Z. All right. Well, I think for my first turn, I'm probably going to do a recruit. Yeah. So that's that's two units. Uh... Yep. Uh, among any any of your bases, so you could put two adjacent to. Yeah. I mean, you could you could pile them. You could separate them. That's that. That's two there, yep. and then I'm gonna use a. Uh, gonna uh, exert with these two cards here. To place a plot token. Wait, hold on. I'm just gonna put <laughs> a target an asset. Oh, to to construct. To construct, yeah, and then remove this um asset. All right, so this would be on the constructor. Yeah. Perfect. And then you okay. gained a fund for that. There you go. And then those go to your discard. You draw three cards. And it's the Covenant's turn. All right. So, wait, so I, I just need three bases and six prisoners to win. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so I just, the, per, the prisoners are permanently imprisoned. At the moment, they are permanently imprisoned. That's it's, crazy. It's just, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the thing it's is, like their supply too. Uh, <laughs> this applies <laughs> to you can only catch the forces, so the the triangles. Um, the thing about it though, is that your bases are really expensive. We can remove them, 
Um, uh, we'll see about balancing it once we've got enough, got enough plays. But yeah, every single person has so far seen the Covenant Agency and been like, okay, I think they're too easy. But uh, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I just want to keep testing it with uh, these numbers right now. Yeah. So because what happens with the cards? Sec- oh, yeah, mm-hmm. go ahead. Or what happens with the cards when you use them, I guess? Oh, they just go into yeah. a discard pile, and then you draw up to three. Gotcha. Yeah, and you'll just go through your, your deck of 12 cards. Yeah. All right. Looks like I'm going to hit the... Uh... You know what? Fuck it, am I right? I'm going to hit the move. <laughs> hit the vagabond. Move. <laughs> okay. To move if to here. <laughs> You're just going to fucking murder this guy? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to secure this shit. Okay, what so hell, here's so here's the thing about this. If you notice, there's two different types of here. secure. Yes. If you're choosing a zone with uh with an enemy in there, you don't actually get them in your prison. Uh, you only get them in your prison if they're on the the oh, four adjacent, adjacent the sectors. So That's you can here. you can basically stomp them and murder the citizens, or you can zone them around you kind of deal and get them in your prison so that's kind of their puzzle is kind of a spatial puzzle because if you're right here you want them to be right here so that you can catch them but if you move too close you kind of have to just murder gotcha. them, or you have to move away and try to zone them that's kind of one of the reasons why they're not as easy as it, it might look because hmm. um, of the spatial kind of puzzle there all so right the, so fine the, yeah sorry <laughs> So right, take that back. Instead, cool. that's right. Instead, I'm doing a move to here, and I'm gonna recruit. Okay, I dig that. Where it was? Did you uh, just did you spend two cards to recruit? Two exert. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I Perfect. spent all my so cards. Then you just place your little exert uh, marker on your uh, recruit action. Sweet. Draw three. Yep. Sick. All right, so it's my turn. So I am going to go over one change that has already been made to this guy because he uh, he is, yes. Um, there was something that came up in the last game that, that was just game-breaking. So now um, when you guys do a raise action um, and you destroy, when you're targeting a district with a raise action, you can target a district with just the usurper or with the usurper on top of a, of a base. And you can just choose to remove the usurper, place him anywhere, and lose a influence with him instead of taking the base, not both. Um, yeah. So, yeah. Because hmm. basically, like, right. on your board it says remove three forces adjacent to an occupied district, remove the hmm. uh, unfriendly base. You could You could do that, or you could punch the usurper on that district uh, instead for the same cost of three guys um, in order to basically lose an influence with him and move him anywhere. Does that make sense? It'll come up when you guys need to hit me because you guys are going to want to hit me at some point. Um, And then I'll be like, oh, yeah, well, you can do that this way. Okay, so I am going to do this. I am going to move, and I'm going to move here and sit on Covenant's base. Um... So if you use this base to recruit anything, you'll give me an influence. You can do it, but you'll you'll just be giving me an influence. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. But as a as a console, right. as a consolation prize, I am going to go ahead and spend two cards to exert my recruit action. Um and I'm actually going to place one of your enforcers for you. What the? Uh, I'm going to give it to you here, and I'm going to go up one influence with you. And that's my turn. Thanks, man. You're welcome, dude. So I can I can use my recruit actions, recruit for whatever player's base I'm on, and I gain an influence with that faction if I do it. Um, I'm trying to be around other players forces though because if i can campaign when i have other players forces around me in these sectors i gain influence for each different sector they're in 
So I'm, I'm trying to get into the most populated areas and then try to campaign to gain a lot of influence with the with the people. Okay, so Goth Order's turn, and it is turn round two. Go for it, Ryan. What is your COO? Oh, here? COO is short for Circle of Influence, which is the six sectors that I'm always inf influencing, essentially. That's my Circle of Influence. So I just put COL as like a short term for Circle of Influence. I'm moving four times. Okay. With, oh, that's my turn. With two moves? I'll take my skip. Oh, God. Oh, you didn't take my skip. <laughs> oh, yeah, you could have taken All a right. skip to jump here if you wanted to by giving him a fund. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I see how it is. Okay, okay. Nah. All right. Nah. Nah. <laughs> All right. And you haven't exerted yet? Nope. Okay, cool. Just making sure. All right, great. What you gonna do, buddy? Uh, what you gonna do, my friend? I'm gonna I'm gonna recruit again. Okay. Yeah, get those little boys out here. Do you think it's good to like group up? Uh, uh as the crate, I've currently seen only one real other human player play them so i really can't give like i've played them but i've only seen one other human that wasn't me play them and so i can only go off of what they tried and what i've tried and i i would i would prefer that you try and see what works for yourself because i i'm figuring it out man the game is kind of in its early That's, baby stages that is fair um, but I will say that having them separated around is good because it gives you options for your assets to be spent. You want to be by the empty districts to try and get all your stuff out quick. So there's um More there's a section in my battle. It says a uh, it's a second part. It's remove two forces sharing, sharing a zone with an enforcer. Yeah. Does that so, mean um? So that's how you remove these cops. So if you had one or two guys in this sector or one guy here and one guy here, you could remove the enforcer by removing your guys. So it's just your way of hitting the, the covenant. These are enforcers and these are forces, which I think will work on those terms, but right now it just made sense because force and enforcers, because these guys are like- Oh, I see what I mean, okay. Yeah, so this is called an enforcer, which is like right here. And then if you look on your player board, under <coughs> forces and then forces. And then this I can't just normally attack. I can't just normal attack um, the Covenant, right? Because you, you have special units. You 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 can attack them. It's just this this is your way of attacking them. And then you can also blow up their bases by doing raise action, right here. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. So every player has a way to blow up a base and attack both like all types of units. Because that raise action, you can do that on the usurper in order to move me anywhere and lose an influence with me. And I can't spend influence unless I've gained influence. So right now, I can hurt the Covenant because I've gained with the Covenant. But I can't hurt you guys because I have nothing to spend. Because I, I can construct or deconstruct. If I deconstruct this base, I would go back down. Which, by the way, I can't because it's his last base. But if I could, I would go down an influence by deconstructing it. So he's kind of weird. He like builds for everyone and destroys for everyone. He's like a very, like, I'm just going to go with the winds. And have everyone be influenced by me because I'm hot. See. Uh, <laughs> oh. 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 Yeah, All right. See, well, see. I'm gonna I'm hot. <laughs> I change my. I'm gonna move my units. Um, or recruit my units here. And then place uh an asset. Yeah. By using an exert. Exert to deliver. action. Deliver. Actually. Where are you gonna deliver to? You could oh. give it to the Goth Order, or you could be selfish and give it to yourself. Up right there. I, I think that's a better move because they're not doing bad right now. But we don't know. All right. I don't know, man. All right. All right. And, and then you just got to move your, uh, remember to move your exert marker to the deliver action. And Covenant's turn. All right. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and hit the. Uh, <laughs> Oh my god, there's so many of them. <laughs> Instruct. Uh, or 
right here. Oh, construct. Nice. Okay, he's got his second base out. Yep. I'm going to retreat. All right. Uh, cool. Let me think about where I want to put that, actually. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's crazy because uh, you can even place it here. Which is like a really fun oh, really? enforcer. Yeah, you could. I'm just uh, saying, like, you could do it in any of the zones. Adjacent to one of your bases. The zone adjacent. Yeah, they're adjacent to all of these zones. And these six sectors. Technically. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. The zone you... via sector thing is whack. It was the thing that I had to, like, figure out the most i would say because i want to make it like make sense but i also i think it it adds good yeah. flavor that, that i want to keep it because i like the fact that it does kind of feel like ground level this kind of mid zoning level and then like this political level like the literal board yeah. is on different tiers like that's how it kind of feels so yeah uh, i guess it's just weird i guess because like the corners here yeah, because this and this aren't adjacent. Correct. Because of the corner, but yeah, this are for, for and the corner and the and the zone is it because. Yeah, I wonder if it will be something like if the base uh, is touching zones, they can recruit to any touching the zones that they're touching. Yeah, that might make more sense in language. Yeah. Retrospect. A little, a little difference there. I'm passing after that. Okay. And I will recruit there. Right there. All right. How many of each card is there in the deck? Is it pretty even? At the moment, with all of my playtesting, there is three copies of each card. Okay. And there's four different cards. Yeah, you know what? I changed my mind. I'm putting it here. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> so I feel like... Uh, I didn't look at my cards. There's, there's, <laughs> there's three guys coming. I feel like I've kind of helped you a little bit. Um, but now I'm feeling like I don't really want to help you anymore. You know? Fuck. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, man. How do you expect to win this presidency? <laughs> well, first I'm gonna actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not there yet, so I'm gonna move. Without the backing of the police. <laughs> and then I'm gonna go ahead and campaign here. So I'm gonna get one crate influence and one goth influence. So basically, I get an influence for every sector occupied by a different faction, and then I gain one for each occupied sector in my circle of influence. So in this case, even though there's two guys here and three guys here, I only gain one goth, one crate influence. Um, enforcers do not count. I'm only looking at forces. So um, okay. I, I'm not campaigning to robots is the thing. Okay, so I, got the, I did that and that's my turn. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and draw two. All right, your turn, Ryan. It's becomes more quick once you get how it works. I am going to exert, I'm going to construct, I'm going to put base here and get rid of these guys. Oh my gosh. Um, Dude, Ryan is on. Oh there. my god. I'm gonna, I'm gonna move to, um, I yeah. think I'm going to, to, to hmm. I'm gonna put this guy here, and mm -hmm. I'm gonna put him here. I like that. Yep. All that right. My turn. All right. All right. Uh, Joshua. All right. I'm. I'm. Uh, I'm. I'm thinking we'll be here. Uh, <laughs> Joshua. You ever played Undertale? <laughs> Undertale. Yeah. I haven't played it. <laughs> I know by it, though. <laughs> Can I move you call by... Washers. Oh. I can move my assets with me, right? Yeah. So it's... Uh, I think... Uh, is, it just, I think is it together? It says right... Around? It says right... So this little segment here under the whole assets ensemble. Assets can be moved with crate forces. You may move assets equal to your moving crate forces. If entering a new zone, place the asset in the new zone. So if oh. you moved from... 
here to here, nothing changes. But if you moved from here to here, you can move the asset with you and move the asset there. It's only if you're entering a new zone and you want to bring the asset with you. Oh, okay, I see. See, because you're in blue right now. If you're moving to yellow and you want to take the asset, you can move it to that zone. What does yep. uh, Ryan's construction of uh, the bases do again? Uh, that just means that every time he plays, every time, every stuff. time, yeah. every time he plays a recruit card, he's gonna get four goth units right now. So it's all oh, about his recruit. Place one force adjacent to each friendly base. Yep. Wait, does it actually say friendly base? Oh, it should not say friendly base. Sorry. Because uh, technically, yeah, yeah. Everyone's te base. Oh, because technically there was a time where crate bases were considered friendly bases as a rule, which meant that you could uh, jump over them. But then I realized that that actually messed up the terminology, so that was supposed to be removed. Sorry, but yeah, it's fine. It just means you can only recruit by your bases. You can't recruit by a crate base and use it for them to gain funds. Yeah. That, oh, okay. that, would, that would be cool though no. <laughs> I don't know that's that's a wild <laughs> maybe other universe that we could explore someday but not this day <laughs> alright I'm going to move <laughs> uh, one unit here along with the uh, asset Okay. Gonna... and then one unit why do I feel like you're going to bomb something one unit uh... what's the crate going to do <laughs> I'm thinking. I'm uh, I'm I'm gonna put it right here, right here, one each, and I'm gonna raise. Oh my god! Do it. Remove one asset adjacent to enemy occupied district. Why would you do it? And are then you remove this. Or are you gonna remove this. I'm gonna remove uh, it. Or or are you gonna raise? One. Or are you gonna raise me and lose an influence and move me anywhere? Because that's the other thing that you don't see on there. Um, you can target the usurper with this action as well. No, not yet. Okay. I'll remove uh, Ryan's base. Okay. That's so it just so goes mean. back to his board, and then you spend the uh, fund. Uh, but you don't get it. You don't get a uh, asset for. You don't get a fund for that. Because you're. It's violence, dude. It's violence. Oh, you don't so, reward so violence. Violent. I don't reward violence because that's. I reward some violence, but not that violence. <laughs> <laughs> But it's essential sometimes. I just I want everything to cost you a lot. Like I want you to feel like, oh god, if I want to do this, it's gonna be, like, I gotta be careful, because if I do that, then I might not be able to do this. It's kind of my thinking. Is there is there any bonus for um for uh, first blood? <laughs> uh, <laughs> you get you get my my uh, condolences. Oh. <laughs> just kidding. No, no. That's no. pretty cheap. That's pretty cheap around here, huh? Yeah, it is. It is pretty cheap. <laughs> <laughs> all right covenant what you gonna do with all your freaking force we might have to start destroying these bases if he's gonna rush bases and then he doesn't have any in his prison what yet the so F? We're, we're good yeah right chill, now. chill chill yeah he's doing he's doing just just fine so far just chilling just chilling it's all right i'm about to i'm about to hit somebody wait so uh for for blue for jeffrey yeah if he wants to put a if he wants to have a prisoner, it has to be surrounding the unit, right? Yeah, so the four sectors directly adjacent to his zone are in the in the secure, uh, basically, uh, in, like... Perimeter he, secure. He, he can secure in these areas. For, They're my cops. For, for this enforcer. Basically, if it, it, it's, really, zone. it's so helpful if you look at it kind of like a chessboard that's two colors. If he's in blue the four adjacent yellow spaces or the opposite color that you're in would be your secure zone because if he's in yellow it's now blue spaces does that make sense oh okay if you look at it like a blue and yellow chessboard you can actually like the game will be a lot easier to understand actually sometimes what was the thing that you're saying about like how like um you remove the unit when go to the prison earlier Oh yeah, so if if he's my secure, if, I can either do that or I can do yeah. This guy can just stop capture what 
if, the two. If, if you're if you're if you're inside oh, a are, zone oh. with the enforcer, he can just stomp on you. You don't. He does. He just basically murdered you. Uh, oh. Instead of imprisoning you. Stomp you out. So you on the curb. Stomp yeah, you okay. in his zone. Yeah. He, he just can, he just America's my ass. Yep. Yeah. He also oh, has oh. a way to move our units towards towards him with uh, direct, which is one of his mobility options. So he could theoretically okay. move this guy here to here and then secure. There's just like some crazy stuff you can do. I see. I've I've made a blunder. Oh, wait, what's one of my mobility options? <laughs> I've made a blunder. <laughs> I have made a blunder. Uh, just read direct. Di just read direct. Yeah, it's a good. It's a good move. You can't direct a, a force that's in a zone with an enforcer already, though. So that's the thing. They can't already be like, couldn't be here because it's already in a zone with an enforcer. But you can direct forces anywhere not in a zone with an enforcer. But yeah, uh, there's it's a lot. There's a lot to it. <laughs> I, I started realizing like as I was like, designing the game i was thinking to myself i was like i don't want to make it too complex like i don't want to i don't want to overdo it you know i want to keep this pretty simple because you know if it's going to be the first game that i actually want to genuinely finish and design and back like put on kickstarter and um like actually do the thing like i don't want to make it too much and then like my dumbass brain just was like i want to make the game that i want to make and it just ended up being a little bit more complex than i uh probably would want to have for a first game but i i do think it's like it's more of the game that i want it to be because of it so i'm not gonna make sacrifices if it's more to what i want mm -hmm. but yeah Indeed. all right what's the covenant gonna do oh it's my turn it is wow yeah i'm gonna go ahead and uh I think I'm gonna. Hmm. I got me thinking. Oh yeah, I got you thinking. All right. Honking. All right. Um. Uh, I guess I'll fucking. You discard these two to exert a direct then. <laughs> All right. And I'll make uh, this guy go here. That works right. Uh, you can do that. I am going to ask you why you would, though. Does that work with this one? Yeah. Uh, only because it would make more sense if you did this one to here. Oh, it's remove one for each. Gotcha. So. Yeah. Cause then All you, right. Because then if you do a yeah. secure, you basically catch up to one yeah, in each of these. It... Yeah, it's in each of them. I'm sorry. <laughs> Can't kill. Yeah. Can't multi-kill. Clear the I got fucking the zone. double killed. <laughs> I got fucking double killed. What the hell? All right. It's okay, guys. It's a really it's it's a balance. The triangle game. shape goes into the <laughs> into this person shape. It's not. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> it's not that this is like version five or anything. Like five total. It's okay. <laughs> so we're, so where is the fun. jailbreak uh, mechanic? I'm passing. So so technically the usurper used <laughs> to have a jailbreak mechanic, but I ended up taking it out, uh, and it might come back. We don't know, but he used to have a way to basically be able to gain influence with the faction by putting somebody else's piece in and taking a piece out and giving it back to that faction and that could include his own guys too so yeah. but right okay. now there is no jailbreak action yet so really your guys are gone forever i'm so sorry man yeah need to reform the police oh, action yeah yeah there even, even if they do a good time I'm just kidding. Yeah, yeah, maybe they should do that. Actually, is kind of a genuine idea, but it would it would be kind of hard to calculate. But like a cool way to be like, oh, they have to catch catch six and have them in there, um, to get to get victory. But like they cycle back out eventually. The way that I originally was gonna do that was, they enter from this way and then they exit from this way. So when you have six in here, mm -hmm. um, as they enter, these ones will come out. 
Um, and the reason why that would matter is because it used to be that you could only have one color in there at one time to win. The oh, idea yeah. would be instead of putting the pieces on your player board, you could put them on your bases. Say your bases are the prison. Oh, that... So if you if you take a base, then you release the prisoners. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. I kind of like that cool. actually, because then you could like stuff yeah. some of these bases with pieces, but like then you'd want them, you'd really want them to be protected. <laughs> but it feels so easy for me to uh, raise a base. Yeah, all you need is an that's, asset. That's yeah. the thing. Yeah, that's that, the so the say, biggest yeah. the biggest thing with your faction though is that I'm pretty sure I'm gonna end up reworking the raise action for you to to cost more. Because right yeah, now, I... right now, it's really easy for you to do that. The thing is, is that you're spending one of your cubes, and you don't have like as many deliveries as you'll realize. You could have used that to make a base and gotten a fund. You didn't get a fund because you used it to destroy a base, and now you're at one fund instead of two. So in that way, the cost is that you're not going up in funds if you're not spending them for building. So I don't know. It just it yeah. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I'm starting to understand. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Covenant, are you done? Yeah, you are, right? Yeah. Okay. I passed. It's time. I'm going to be a little bit more rude now, I think. I'm going to sway. Um, so I can sway an enforcer as per this. And this is weird because this is technically considered inside of my influence uh, because it's inside of it if you look but yeah um i'm going to sway this enforcer and it's going to become a spy for me why do spies matter well i have to get all three of them out on the board um currently there is no way to remove the spies <laughs> but the re reason why it matters is because if i uh if i don't if i don't sway with it i can't like if i if i recruit at any time i can't sway uh, with these cards so I'd have to exert to basically get a lot of sways um, so it's expensive but right now there's no way to remove spies that's probably gonna change like I said guys it's a work in progress so let's see how this goes <laughs> still gotta get all this in positive influence so uh, okay so I did that um... got the, who gives a fuck about recruiting <laughs> then <laughs> what was what that? Does that even do what was that I said, why would you... Oh, for influence. I said. Well, because you need to recruit for influence. Specifically with the Covenant, it helps a lot because you can't campaign to the Covenant. So oftentimes recruiting is like the only way you can really get what you need with them. Uh, and unfortunately, mm -hmm. I am losing some options. So I am just going to... Uh, so the thing is, is like I can't... I can't... I can't put another spy down if there's already a spy in my circle of influence so i have to move around the board and get them separated um so that's another thing about them um so it sucks because i have a handful of swaying I but i cannot res sway again so i'm actually going to recruit with this one and i'm going to go ahead and put one of the crate pieces here Oh, thank here. you. Um, and that's going to give me an influence with you. All right. And that's it. I'm going to recruit twice. See, guys, this is what we didn't want to happen. I, I was really upset when my base got taken. Yeah, that's really sad. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you would have had a freaking, oh, my God, you would have had eight guys in one turn. Mm -hmm. God, and two of them would have, been been would have been forward in the middle. would have been much forward yeah. yeah that's actually crazy oof well six guys is still pretty freaking yeah. good especially with your exert not notched on recruit so that's pretty nice and healthy he's got a healthy situation there's a lot of goth order healthy boy goth order the goth order that. the goth order I thought. Was that a stack of catheter? Oh, excuse me. Yeah, he can stack two because he's technically did it twice, so he can literally stack any of these two. 
He yeah. could have he could literally stack this one four right now if he wanted to, but it doesn't make a difference in two and two really. Except you, that... use my, you can use my base yet, huh? Free entry, free passageway. It's not a move. No. <laughs> no? Oh, you didn't, oh, you didn't use a move. Never mind. <laughs> it's just recruiting. <laughs> Never mind. Like, disregard. Disregard. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Disregard. Never mind. <laughs> I gotta throw that. I gotta throw that tiny back. You gotta though, throw you know? it. You gotta throw it in there. Yeah, not the. We got not the right. robot. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Crate. Imagine if you put a base right here. Imagine okay. how. That's too easy. Imagine how much the Goth Order would want to use that to get from here to here. That mm -hmm. would be pretty cool. Just looking at the. I feel like I'd be helping them just, win too much though. But you would be getting so many funds from all of their movement too. So to balance yeah, that. To balance that would be an interesting thing, is all I'm saying. So I drew my last cards. Am mm. I flipping this over and truffling? Yep. That's exactly right. it. And my turn's done. Create consortium. All right. Hey, can I can I choose to only do one action a turn? You can. It is up to two operations. Oh, wants to save his card. That means that he has a power play coming up for his next turn, I think. I probably won't do it. Okay. Actually, I almost did it last turn, because if you'd seen my hand, you would know why. All right, so you're going to do a delivery. delivery. Wow, you're not going right to give it. You're not going to give it to either side of the conflict. You're just going to be selfish again. That's right. This guy. Not yet, not yet. I guess that makes sense right now because you're you're still you're still you're still figuring it out. And I'll construct here. We really don't want him to get all of his bases out, guys. So if he gets one more base out, we need to work together to keep him down because otherwise he starts gaining funds automatically once he gets that one down. All right, all right. But also use my base. Free flyer miles, guys. But also use my. I ain't flying anywhere. <laughs> But you could, dude. Think you about could, it. <laughs> you could literally. I tell you, man. <laughs> dude, look at all, look at all these juicy pieces you could be uh, entrapping right now. Look at all that's these yellow guys, dude. That's, that's look at all these get, orange guys. They've been. You, that's how you get to the outskirts, man. All right, Kevin, it's turn. Yeah, man. These are out in the. This is Tacoma down here. Okay, <laughs> think about it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Can oh. I choose to also discard my last card in my hand, or do I have to keep it? You cannot. At least oh. not at the moment. Right now, you're stuck with your with your with your card. Wow, you must really not like a particular card in your hand, or maybe it's just not currently useful. Wait, so I can use jump over bases? You can, can jump, I jump over you my can, own bases. You can always jump over your bases or crate bases. Oh. I just jump. You can fly over, dude. So you can do this, and you can do yeah. that. You basically break a movement rolls. You also do that. Bases oh, allow. <gasps> Guys, here it is. Movement for movement, you do the long edge or the side, but bases allow you to do from point to point. Yeah. That's Indeed. the rule. That's it. That's the only thing that we needed to define. Because right. if you don't have a base here, you can't do it because there's no base. But if you do have a base here, yeah. you can do it. Yeah. So you're basically yeah, just creating a new way to move, which is by the points. That's it. Okay. That was that was like the thing that I just I guess I needed to be able to define. Write it down, write it down. That's I made your king here the right color. What was that? It's green now. Oh. Did it change? I turned it to green. Why did you turn to green? Because you're green. Oh, wait, the chess piece? Yeah. It was already green. Is it, wait, is it my turn? Oh, or... no, it was orange before. It was yeah. orange? It yeah. was like wood colored. Oh, it was wood? Oh, that's weird. Yeah. So it's because it's a standard asset, I guess it came in it to you guys as a standard asset. Oh. That's weird, because to me it's green, because uh, I painted it green at the beginning. Huh. Sorry, what? guys. I painted it green again. I've been looking at it green this whole time. 
You guys, right, well, if you if you guys want to change it green, you just right click on it. You go color two. Oh, it's shiny now. Hey, hey. I now changed that, it to metal. That, that changed it for me that time. I didn't like that. Oh, the, oh, right, the usurper, regular the usurper is uh, black facing right now. What the hell? Hey, hey. Please, please get down here. <laughs> hey. <laughs> please. I can't do anything about it. About you need that. to come down right now and and He's got freedom. Control. I'm really not doing that great, dude. I, Free country. I don't, I don't have any positive influence with not even a single faction at the moment. I'm not doing that great. There's too many uh, free rights going on down here, <laughs> Jeffrey. You need to come down. Are, is, are you done? Is it my turn? Yeah, it's been your turn. Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I literally asked also. All right. <laughs> this this guy, dude. This guy. This this, this whole cap. time. This 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 cap. Cap and his donuts, man. Cap and his donuts. Am I right? Yeah. Where's his donut ability? Oh, not yet. Next version. All right. Uh, That's the next expansion. Donut ability. He gets a he gets donut a keep. Hole um, he gets to draw one extra card at the end of the turn. So I can't remove your spy. Not can't go to prison. Yeah, because he's uh, not a triangle. Oh he's my god, he's a stop sign. He's not considered That's a force. Crazy. He's not considered a force, so he can't be like touched at the moment. All right. He cannot be touched by you. Uh, looks he's, he's in like hiding, man. He's in I'm hiding. gonna fucking exert. Oh. Two to move. I do want to let you there. know that you just got a fund. Oh, thank you. Because he used your, he used You're your base. Welcome. Thank I'm you for flying with secure airlines. So he's gonna get one guy and another guy. Oh my Prison. God. God, dude. Prison. This Pass. Is, this is and then I shuffle all this shit. This is not mm. looking great. What an aggressive move. Look at this guy. The slime. All right, it's just I guess it's my turn. Um guys, you guys need some <laughs> You guys need some help with this uh this here uh <laughs> covenant problem. So why don't I just go ahead and uh. give, why don't I just go ahead and give them some more enforcers, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Great idea. Yeah, it, it, it would. It would help. You wouldn't. Me. It would help me. <laughs> okay, so here's what I'm gonna do, though. Actually, I'm gonna do a campaign action, and this is the cool thing about setting up spies, is that when I campaign, um, if there's a spy in there, I can use them to gain an influence with a with a faction that's not represented in my circle of influence. So that's a way that I can campaign to robots. Um, so I can get a blue influence, yeah. a crate influence. Um, and choose to do a goth influence for this one. So it's one, two, three. So you guys will start realizing that piling up these guys around me is really dangerous because his campaign action is like how he gets the most influence probably. Um, but yeah, that's my first thing. As you learn the game, I think you'll use, will probably realize that. And then my second action is gonna be a move. And I'm gonna go ahead and I want to uh, I want to freaking crush. I want to help you guys out. Okay, I'm gonna actually go. I could be rude. I don't know how rude I'm. <laughs> I'm gonna go here. No, you know what? I'm gonna go here. Because so it's like so hard to to yeah. like stop you from getting three influence though. <laughs> I guess. What was that? Or... I yeah. see you need a one inch spy, but yeah, with the one spy that makes it yeah a lot. <laughs> yep, yeah. So uh, if you got yeah, so basically you guys will want to start punching me at some point. Mm -hmm. We should also lot. punch Jeffrey as well. No, I think now is that point. I think right? I think <laughs> I'm gonna I think... punch everyone. Okay. <laughs> I agree. Goth Order, you should put that on I'll everybody else because you were like, <laughs> you shouldn't, you don't, don't let these people tell you what to do. You should just race for those. Right? 
<laughs> be very selfish. You get to jump in. <laughs> and also, by the way, you can use my. Uh, you can use this right now, dude. I'm basically just a. I became a base for you, man. Just come through for me. me. Yeah, man. You can always it jump gives through. Gives him one point. You can always jump through me. Oh. Yeah. No matter where I'm at, dude. So cool. just think about that. You'll just get an influence. Good to know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Come on in. Come on in. Influence, oh, turn, isn't it? What was that? It's my turn, isn't it? It is. Um. I'm going to uh, raise this base. Get, get it out of here. Oh my. What the hell, dude? Oh that my god! Cool. You just that threw like it perfect. across the fucking. <laughs> Oh my god, bro. Table. Dude, wow. how, how, far can, how far can BM go? Wow. Dude, that was aggressive. Why? Look at me, man. We're not, of, even, we're not even close to winning, man. Destruction. I mean, you, you killed my base, I'm killing your base. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna I, flip your... I'm gonna flip our pieces right now. Oh my gosh. Oh um, my. This is chaos. And then... <laughs> hmm. See how you like it. <laughs> See how you no, like man. it. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna build another base while I'm at it. <laughs> this is the wackest, like, goth order play. Dude, it's so crazy. Every single time I've played this, like, I swear, there's just people doing weird shit. Like, I love it because that's what I would prefer. I need to see all this. All right. What would be a good way to stop the police? Uh,. Besides the taking out their enforcers because recruitment is very slow for them. Fuck the police. That's the thing is like when they recruit, they only get one robot. Is that just from attacking? Yeah, you just uh, do a battle action and do the remove two forces for one. Oh, I see. So two for one in a zone with an enforcer. Oh, it's so painful. It's painful for you. Right, it's it's also painful for Goth Order too, I guess, because they they need their guys right, in order to win the game. <laughs> Ryan, why did also, you just do that, man? <laughs> Ryan is fucking up everybody, dude. Ryan, why did you um, just remove this blue piece? Here's, here? Well, he had to move here first yeah. to do it. He has to You know, he has to share the zone. Oh, yeah. I see what you mean. Okay. However, I instead of instead of putting my base there, I would have attacked him if I could have. Yeah. I hey, you know what? Uh, but I will say for you my friend you should probably take that out because if you don't he's gonna probably catch this guy yeah yeah i know so i think that you mr uh joshua should get this guy out of here oh. for the benefit of everyone yeah otherwise he's gonna catch here get him out he's of gonna here. be one away from that prison one away huh one away come on it's man we know one. you could do it dude we know you could do it all right fine whatever <laughs> you <Fruit>. literally have <laughs> the recruit option right now. <laughs> Alright, two. Yep, you already have the two that you need. You just need a battle action now. Oh Damn, I, really wanted, I really wanted to deliver two. Ah Shit. I needed that card. <laughs> <laughs> so it's it's dead now. Along with your guys. Dead. Yeah. Oh my god. The throw. <laughs> Good work, dude. You're playing for Ryan? the table, man. Now people are gonna. I can't believe you made me do this, dude. <laughs> so how do you, how do you hit the usurper? Basically, right now it is the exact same as the raise action, only you do it to a district occupied by me. Um, gotcha. and, and when you do it, you get to move me anywhere you want to any district mm. on the board. Which is really hurtful for me because my biggest problem is I need to be on the district that I need to be on in order to get my stuff going. Uh, but you get to move me anywhere and you lose an influence with me. That's that's, that's gotcha. it. So right now you could have a guy here and a guy here. Spend those two to bump me anywhere and that's that's that. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, that was correct. Yeah. But I got no actions, no dudes. That's the thing, your recruitment's really rough, man. You might have to start exerting to get recruitment out or convince me to recruit for you, and I honestly don't know if that's worth it for me, man. Oh. I will say, I do have a card. I do have a recruitment card, and I could give you a recruit next turn, so keep that in mind. That's why I moved here, is to help you out, buddy. 
We can work. Oh, together. really? Yeah, we can work together. Remember? <laughs> really? I'm trying to take over this um, entire city, man. Uh, <laughs> just let me. Just let, let me give you. <laughs> Even though we're, it seems like we're the top two right now. <laughs> I wonder if there's a way to. I wonder if there's like uh, way for people to win at the same time. Uh, there is a way, uh, sort of, and I have to figure out a ruling for it, but I don't know which one's more funny yet. Uh, if, Yo, if the a, coalition, if, if the coalition if, win, if, man. If the crate has a base here, and the Goth Order moves a piece from here to here, and they move their last ascension while you're at nine funds, yeah, who who wins? I imagine it. I think it would be the Goth. Because it would be the players, the players' turn, right? Yeah, yeah. that's kind of what I was thinking too. So that's where it I was. Depends on what trigger is, doesn't it? Well, that's the thing is like, does this trigger in between the time of the movement? I don't know, man. It just makes more sense that the player yeah, whose yeah. turn it is would win. Wait, do they have to get into this square, or this square? Just, just this square. This square? Oh no, just this. This oh, this one. Okay. Yeah, this isn't oh. even a real sector. It's just like your end game. You leave the piece here, and it doesn't move from here. You already, you got it. It's it's ascended right here. So this this is actually just flavor. Oh, this is like not a non space. This, this this whole thing's kind of like one zone that you just kind of run into. But this is technically the sector that you're moving into. Yeah, so you can get there from here, or from here with a base. <clears throat> Oh, by the way, it is your turn, Covenant. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, sorry. I forgot to announce that. I didn't know your brain would be burning, uh, man. Uh, I don't know if that's a good sign or a bad sign. No, I just needed just to know when. Real quick. I guess I should be paying attention <laughs> to the actions. The question is. Question. The question is. What was that? What? Hmm? Huh? Huh? Oh. I didn't say anything. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> Look, dude. I, uh, here you, I'll help you. You help me. All right. Covenant, you move your guy right here. You're in a good spot to do a, a secure. You're gonna give me an influence, right? That's cool. Then I'll recruit what for the you. F? Then I'll recruit for you next turn. All right, mm. and then I'll be at max influence with you, which is not a problem. I think that sounds like a terrible idea. But you're gonna, <laughs> you're gonna win next turn. I don't be, want to. No, I still need to get f two spies out, bro. Two spies. I can't even. I can't even sway here because this guy's in this uh, room. But the then I feel here. like I'm like, um, I'm going backwards in my win con for that <laughs> to help you. I mean, I'm recruiting for you though, bro. Oh, <laughs> or you could uh, alternatively you could ask the crate to like start sending you some assets to get some extra actions, man. I don't know. You could. There's a couple ways you could go about this. That would not be in their best interest, but it might be. It might help the goth mm. if they were getting some extra actions. That's for sure. I'm just worried about it. You're looking like you are like two turns away. <laughs> no, I would have to get this and this, and I would have to get each sway, and it's very yeah, tough for me. It would be very tough for me to get two sways in a turn because remember, I can't, I can't sway in the same circle of influence. All right, you have to move in then. Yep. Yeah. Okay. I'm probably Fine. Oh, don't, don't do it. Don't I'm do doing it. it. I'm moving. <laughs> He's going to win next turn. <laughs> I am not going to win next turn, you silly goose. I designed this, and I even know that I can't win next turn, man. <laughs> and you must recruit for me. <laughs> I, I will, you must. Dude, I will do it. I'll do it, man. All right. I'm exerting. Oh, my gosh. Oh, you must secure this yeah, guy, dude. Exerting. Oh, my gosh. You're exerting to secure uh, me again? We're just simple merchants, man. No, I'm recruiting. <gasps> Whoa! I'll recruit. Wait, are you gonna <laughs> wait, wait? Are you gonna, <laughs> are you gonna do it there? Yeah. <laughs> then I don't have to recruit for you, because that would be giving what? me. What? But you did me, so. Because remember, when you use my base, you give me an influence anyway. So you should recruit it on this oh, base. Oh, it's using your base. 
Otherwise, I don't feel the need to do it because then I won't gain an influence. I'm already at max, bro. So you should you should recruit. Oh my god, where are these rulings? Hold up. <laughs> the ruling is that when you when Wait, so it's when right I... it's right it's right here. Okay, I see. If the usurper is on a Near base control. and a player wants to use that base for any purpose they would normally be able to, the usurper gains an influence with that faction. Crate wouldn't gain a fund if their base was covered by the usurper when used. So if since you're using this base for its a normal purpose of recruiting, you would be giving me mm -hmm. an influence when you do so. However, if you... But like you one, said, you would do it. <laughs> yeah, I can do it. It's just going to be a freaking waste for me, dude. In fact, you know what? Well, I'll do it. You know what? Since you outsmarted me, I'll do it. I hate you. Hey man, that's just the deal that was made. The covenant's gonna do some. I'm done after that. I'm drawing. <laughs> I'm done after. That. <laughs> He's done, so. I hate this, dude. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna recruit. He parlayed too hard. I'm gonna recruit and gain nothing. <laughs> I hate my life. Well, you gained uh, respect. You no. Know? Uh, and then I'm gonna keep me your word. Yeah. I'm gonna like honor. I'm gonna you kept your honor. I'm gonna deconstruct your base and lose an Oof. influence with you. Gore. All right, that's it. You made me do this, dude. You made me do that. Sure, you can have the cops. Had to be done. You're gonna have the cops, but are you gonna have the base, bro? Are you gonna have the base? I'm gonna recruit. Yo, the usurper literally defunded the police. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> that's actually true. Debased. <laughs> you just got. You just your base just got defunded, dude. <laughs> dude How's it feel, defunded. huh? <laughs> Maybe I should change that to the defunded, defunded the district. Action. I should change it it's to very the top. defund action, dude. <laughs> defund. Yes, that's right. If played defund. on the if played on the covenant, change this action, this <laughs> operation to a defund operation. Perfect. They, they may only recruit. They lose one enforcer at the end of every turn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Defund, all right. <laughs> Exert and move. All right. This guy is here, and I can have four. You can have four. Right. Yep. 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 That is completely Do not legal. Be concerned, crate. I am. These are not intended for you. I think. What, are you, what are you doing? He's got a. He's gonna. will aid you. He's got to break through this crap. Yeah. So I think he's trying to move. He's gonna. He's. We're gonna, breaking free. Wait, gonna, did he? Do, did he do a recruit and move? Yeah. He did a recruit. Is that what he did? Yep. Yeah, he he oh, exerted okay. for a move. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna help out um. Well, Ryan here, deliver. Deliver. Oh my <laughs> goodness! Thanks, man. No, just the spy. <laughs> the spy's got it. Run! Ah, interception. Ah, uh, <laughs> I'll put it. I'll put it right here. Yeah, that's. Smart. And then I'll yeah, I'll do it again. I'll do it again. Shit. There is no way that freaking. <laughs> the covenant's gonna be able to yank <laughs> that dude it's way out there Throw you're, it. You're, you're doing another delivery wait you cannot use this one huh no no the goth can i'm saying there's no way the covenant could yoink it because that's so far away so you did a good job oh yeah that's why that's why i did it yeah notice i'll do it i'll do it notice that it's like it's there's less yeah. spaces in the outskirts to deliver to and there's more spaces in the inner city it's like a little thematic yes thing. yes and here's another one I'm gonna I'm gonna toss and see where it lands on the board. Oh my god! Oh wait, no! Wait, uh, wait. I mean, it landed here. Put it right here. No. <laughs> oh my god! Uh, you're, really, uh, you're gonna oh. give him one in the. Okay, where do you actually want it? Is my We're chill. <laughs> oh god! So you're gonna put it here? Yeah. Oh my gosh! All right, have fun, dude. Dude, what the fuck? All right, my turn. <laughs> Two deliveries. Oh. My turn, yes. I'm, I'm oh. crazy. He's going crazy. I'm crazy. I'm playing that. secure. Okay. That was bad. Secure. Give me these. Oh my gosh, dude. He's Yoink. Still... Oh no. Yoink. Oh god. Prison well, forever. Wins. Aren't you guys thankful that I took that to base last turn? Yeah, he needs to be bases. Yep. Now aren't I'm playing guys, recruit. Aren't you guys thankful that I that I did that? I actually. I am. Yeah. Yeah, I'm yeah. a player recruit. I told you his bases are expensive because every time he builds a base, he loses two guys. Um, 
maybe, maybe there should be a rule where like if he loses a base he has to lose one prisoner I kind of dig that actually, but it would hurt his goal so much because it would be taking away his goal to yeah, the bases already, and already his goal. Take my two guys to fucking hear the bases. Yeah, that and would, you guys that would can be take really, so really, really, really tough. <laughs> I'm almost thinking that maybe there's just more prisoners he has to take, like increase this to eight. like up to like eight. Or, yep. Uh, and I've thought about it. I've thought about adding two slots a couple times. I just I want to get more plays in before I make these changes because like I don't really know. Like one game might go this way, but the next game might not. And honestly, the Covenant didn't. They didn't win the last live play, so they were close. But it's kind of hard to close it, you know. I feel like I'm so far from. I the feel like closing it is hard because. Nah, you're doing great. If everyone don't just even worry about it, just gets rid of the base. Like going to, I feel like going to ten is like so far beyond. No, don't even worry about it, man. You're doing great. You got this, bro. Uh, <laughs> I got this, bro. I'm just gonna keep chucking um deliveries. Yeah. That's when we win. Oh, don't don't you worry about it, man. Because I think things are gonna change in your favor here soon. Because the oh. goth is gonna start abusing you really bad. <laughs> yeah, I'm putting that there. By, a, by abusing, I mean using, using you, for your assets, literally. Yes. <laughs> About damn time! Damn. <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't do that early game, but it makes sense because like you didn't really realize the potential. But like, dude, the the potential is that you guys both benefit from this relationship so much. They found a social they, worker, and now they're you, about to you know enroll in you social basically welfare. Basically, go into superpower mode. <laughs> Your turn. My turn. I'm lined them up, man. All right. Um, I am unhappy. Uh. And I don't oh wait! I just realized I recruited here. This is illegal. Right? That's Not true because that. there's no base anymore. No base here. Not... Whoa, dude! Really? I literally just cheated. You never would have known. You should place it there. That's probably a good. Why? Because the <laughs> secure action, bro. Uh, I. Well, why? <laughs> I don't need that. <laughs> dude, uh, dude, you need it. No. <laughs> Oh, what are you saying? <laughs> I don't know how to play this game. No, I don't get it. You're just misleading me. Uh, I'm sorry, man. I'm <laughs> sorry. <sighs> You're gonna have to start destroying. Uh, now. Oh God, I know. <laughs> You're gonna have to make more space. Maybe. Well, technically, you've got two spaces right here, man. Uh, hey, can you put them anywhere? You can put them right here, right? right? Here. No, he couldn't. It's adjacent oh, to a base. Actually. So you can put it here, 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 or here. In, in any of those four zones. He's going to go for the, the double dewey. Put it here. All right. Yeah. That's fair. Why'd you put it down here? Don't worry. No. How do I how do I do the um okay. no. the Danaro ping? The what? What button is that? How are you doing the um the notification? Oh tab. Oh. Yeah. No. And then you can point by holding tab. So if you hold it, you can be like here and here and oh. here, and you can also measure. Yeah. Why could you do? Yeah, Jeffrey, right here. See? Oh God, this is terrible. Wait, did you? Wow, uh, I can measure anything. Wait, is it my turn? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Well, here's the thing. I am now suddenly. Oh shucks. Oh shucks. Guys, he's got the wind con. Uh, one second. Uh. You forgot to attack him. If he has one construct Jeffrey. card, that could be bad. Hey, this is at five for a reason. What the fuck? That's the round counter, bro. Uh, um, all right. <laughs> um, I'm going to move here. Mm -hmm. And then I am going to... Bend both of these to sway. And I'm going to take... This guy back. Float this guy in. Man, the things I have to do around here. Uh, 
All right, your turn, Ryan. All right. Oh God, yeah. this is terrible. This Let me see if so I got bad. if I got assets right. So <laughs> I can use these assets. Yes, you can. And each one of them would be an action. Uh, another action. Yeah. Any action. Any action. And even, even the action even that he exerted. exerted action. Oh shit. Cool, yep. cool. You you gave him two. <laughs> um, do it. Do it. <laughs> so, on the bright side, <laughs> I think he can get three in there. I don't know about five, but he'll be he'll get some help. That's good. He needs some help to get some guys. He needs guys in there, but like you know, not wait, all. Wait, his why guys. can why can Ryan just pull a bunch of units and just move them all in? I'm just saying, like the, the, max, the max count is four, right? Yeah, the max count is four. Yeah, you can only have four in a single sector at one time. Mm -hmm. hey, my question is, um, did oh. I misunderstand? I really, really want to put my last base here, yeah. even though it's probably never going to be used yet. Well, it would be yeah, really tough. Gonna... Well, he, he has everything around to just delete the base. Mm -hmm. Yeah, essentially, yep. Um, yeah, I wonder if there's like maybe in the future, like, because yeah, it is. It, I've thought about like that would be so freaking sick because you could just jump from here to here. It's more likely that the crate gets the base there, um, or even more likely that the covenant gets the base there and then the monarch sits there so that you can jump over. Yeah, but there's or sorry, the the usurper, old name, my bad. Um, so yeah, it it is it's tricky. Think... It's tricky and expensive. I'm going to start off by recruiting. Okay, so this is just his normal operation first. Yeah. I'm going to put one there, so that's a stack of four. Yep. Um, and let's put uh, that guy there. And, um, that guy there. Oh. Oh, it's five. tricky. Oh, wait, that's five. That is now. Yep, five. yep, yep. There we go. So it's one, two, three, four. Yep. Four, um, four new guys. Now I'm going to use <laughs> oh my an God. asset. So I take this Spend asset that. and I get yep. it back to him. And then he gains the fund immediately. And I am going to so use okay. that to move, of yep. course. That's one. So I actually get the influence there. He doesn't get a fund. Mm -hmm. And then the second move is the tear. Yep. And then I'm gonna. God damn it! If he has a move, and then he can use the cube to get four in there for sure. Why? Well, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna use the other asset to to do the other move. Yeah. <laughs> to get four in here. Or no, you can't. You, have to have you, a... can't, you can jump this one though. Oh right. Yeah, so you're one away. A stack of three right there. Yeah. Wait, doesn't he doesn't he need a force in the asset area? Does it or is it just force or it, pieces, right? This piece is pieces. Is it force? If that's the case, then I'm gonna I'm gonna do the risk and I'm gonna raise or uh, construct <laughs> with the thing uh, there. Wait, wait. Let's see what it says. Let's see what it says. <laughs> A player may spend... Okay, wait. If crate forces share a zone with an asset, they control it. If not, the asset is controlled by the player with the most pieces within the zone. Pieces. Um, so technically, the base is within the zone as one piece. Oh, okay. So you can spend it with a base. I don't know if that's, that's going to stay, though. I don't know. It might not. Maybe that's something where it has to be a force can, can spend it. Well, that means Ryan could just move, yeah, four stack right there. Um, and then I'm gonna use the other half of that move to move the other four there. Wait, but how? Then, but wouldn't this? Under the base. So when you built this base, wouldn't you be down to one? Here? Oh yeah, one. Okay, Sorry. okay. I was like, what? Oh. <laughs> okay. So he's got one ascended. Shit, that was stack of four. And he's got this there, Shit. which really slows Covenant down. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna Don't I'm gonna drop her. I again. would have to that recruit so, so many times to sucks. have that be useful. That's true. That's so cool though, because oh, like, technically if you recruited <laughs> here but it it's useful in the fact that you can go one, two, three moves and you're in. Yeah. That's the usefulness right now. That's like a that's like the gateway to heaven right there, literally. 
sure is. <laughs> why you guys? Why you guys sit right here? I'm Damn. sitting here ah. to take money from you because I knew he would want to use this path that turn, so I sat there to steal your fun. <laughs> That's so fucked up. You. Also, you're at you're at five funds, man. He, Am I? No, he I was spent, at four. He spent two, so he oh, got right. another fund when he spent the other one. Cheat. Yep. Yep. Um, somebody is gonna want to hit me. Uh, because when he did that, he put me under positive influence with himself. Now I just need to get one spy. Um, and then I will win. So somebody will want to hit me. I don't know who it's going to be, but I'm just going to let you know. You can just do the raise action, but target. You got this washer. I don't have the actions. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> <laughs> That's really It's your turn next, Whoa. right? I literally cannot. No, it's, it's, your, it's your turn, man. I literally well, I mean, cannot. No, I mean, Jeffrey's it. turn is next, right? Oh, right, right. Yeah, yeah I literally cannot. <laughs> yeah, his situation Unless would suck can... because if he, if he used this path, he would gain influence with me and then cut me to move me into a bad spot, but I would still be positive influence because he would gain into positive and then go back to positive. I need oh, the I reactions to raise you, right? So... What was that? I think I need the reactions to raise you. No, no, you just need uh, two enforcers. It's just like building, but instead of building, you're just throwing me. Yeah, it doesn't mean right. you're right. Right. two as pieces like right here. Yeah. No, I actually, you're, you're I need a third there. action to raise. Right. Yeah. yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, no, you just wait. need raise. You just need uh, the raise card. Yeah, raise card. Because you're still within the zone. But, but but oh oh so I can do move and raise yeah yeah move and raise is what I was thinking but it doesn't really help because when you move you would give me an influence and then you would raise me to just go back down to still positive influence because I was at positive already wait isn't your position still within his zone there because like red middle yeah yeah so his so uh, so his thing is he has to remove two enforcers on opposite sides of the enemy oh, I see what district mean. so it's just different for him. Your yours your guys is you just have to be adjacent to the district. He has to plan on opposite side zones. That's why they look easy, but their puzzle is mostly their 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 positioning. But yeah, so uh so yeah, you somebody will wanna punch me, but who knows, I might not have a way to move and sway this turn. I don't I don't think I have the I don't have the capabilities. Well, you guys are in luck that my exert cube's already on my sway. I'll say that. Because it means that I cannot exert to sway right now. So if I have a move card, I can't move, then exert to sway. I'm going to uh... exert to move and sway. <laughs> move <laughs> and sway. Move and sway. Woo I'm going to. Gee. Huh? Gonna use two of these cards here. Exert. Oh wait, uh, I can't. Ah oh, shit. Because I already have delivery on the. Were you gonna exert? On you were gonna exert a delivery to who? Oh, you were gonna give it to. Were you gonna give it to him? Were you gonna give it to Covenant? I was gonna. To get, and, I was to gonna get to hit, myself and to then... try and hit me. Maybe. Yeah, because you could. I can't. See, there's so many ways you could play that. You could deliver to the Covenant to give him an extra action to, to use to hit me, basically, which would be kind of cool. And then I would yeah, just give you I... fun to do that. But yeah, if you can't get the delivery out, then that doesn't really matter. Just My saying, the ass. options are insane. Oh, this is on six. I forgot to move it. Damn, a lot happens in six turns. It's wild. The game is so I guess much just... more interesting when you don't play all four sides. Having four different people behind each of these is so much better. <laughs> I'll just gonna say it. Hello. I min maxed this game insane amount, <laughs> and it I learned some things that were very intriguing. That is all I shall say. Recruit two and then move. One. Oh wait, no. 
I'm I'm retreating. Okay. Right there. Yep. All right. I guess I'll. That's the best I can do. Man's ass. Sorry, guys. Wild. All right. Uh. Just wondering, can I direct you? Me? The super. Uh, chosen factions forces. Uh, so force, sorry, forces or uh, forces. Uh, I'm not considered a force. Gotcha. That would be kind of interesting, though, if there was a way to like move, like direct the the. I will say you can you can mess me up by being in annoying spaces because there's a couple of times where I was like here and I couldn't get to here because I can't I can't move through you guys I can't get in the way of the law because I'm still trying to win you over politically so I don't I don't like to get in the way of what you guys are doing so I can't like move across where you guys are patrolled that's thematically Mm. what's happening but like if you were right here and right here that would really fucking suck (laughs) Because mm. I, I would have, like, these less options of getting to these spaces, which can sometimes be... Like, moving up and down through the city is easy, but moving through the side streets is harder with your stuff. So there's, just, like, more things to learn. Uh, that's the thing. I was like, this is the first time you guys are playing this game. You guys don't know everything. I wouldn't expect you to know everything. But I feel like it would be a game that would reward playing um, once you've played it once at least and then like that second game you would be like oh now I kind of understand what's happening mm-hmm. and like all the little weird things well unfortunately I think I'm gonna go ahead and recruit um, right here. <laughs> Here. Yes. Yes. Okay. Interesting. Yes. So that was that was. No, wait. That's annoying. It doesn't really matter, right? If you have the moon, so yeah. Well, yeah, it doesn't matter in this case. At this moment, it do- technically does not matter. I guess if this. If uh, he had moved this guy out last turn. Oh, yeah, that's true. This guy would have been here. But yeah, I can't um, s- can't really sway this guy. Maybe the maybe the way that you... S- yeah, I'm still, th- I'm still working on some stuff. The, the least baked mechanics of this game right now are spies and probably... Um, the way that crate raises <laughs> yeah, that's kind like, of, those were that's those kind were of weird. those were things that i had to kind of like make work in order to build time or for one with the usurper but also in this case for them to have a way to destroy buildings i think i want to change the way that it works but like i'm i'm still like i had to get something yeah. on the on the table in order to be able to play test the game i guess i'm going to raise this sucks a lot for me, and I don't want to do it. But I'm I will raising do it. this. <laughs> I'm raising, raising this church. Fuck it, yeah. <laughs> you. <laughs> <laughs> there were children attending service, man. The heck? Yeah, they were too close on to... Sunday. Wow, that was too close to godhood. <laughs> it's got to recreate the. Uh, <laughs> it's got to recreate that Kingsman scene. Seriously though. Yeah. All right. So that's it. Fortunately for you guys, I do not have a way to sway and move this turn. You guys are really lucky that this damn exert bless.
Um, okay, so I am going to... <laughs> going to win. I was kidding. I'm going to deconstruct... <laughs> What the hell? what? Oh, <laughs> that. what the hell, man? <laughs> and then I'm gonna campaign. Uh, so I'm gonna campaign for one goth, and then for the spy, I'm just gonna get one crate. <laughs> can I still move through you? You can. Uh, yep. Okay. Uh, I just don't gain anything from it anymore. At the moment. Is that your turn? That he he can still jump. Fortunately, my turn. He can still make that jump. He can oh. still technically, currently, he can still jump. This is all just going. You, I think, what's going to happen here is it's just going to be uh, Kingmaker with, <laughs> with the other two people because I'm going to use uh, two moves. Oh, dude, he's just rushing. Just go yeah. for it. Oh God, one. one so okay, yep. Yeah. Two. Three, oh my nope. god. Three, four. <laughs> yep, you're right here. You're you're just outside of the freaking so Dude, like... if that if that cathedral had stayed, you would have won the game. <laughs> exactly. That's insane. It's very upsetting. That um... would have been like a turn one win. Oh my gosh. Or not turn one, but like that would have been pretty crazy actually. But yeah, that's my turn. It's up to you guys to decide who wins. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> it's, time, it's time to uh, drop some uh, supplies really quick. <laughs> no, dude. Do some drops. Think about what you could do, man. You just you spend your whole turn delivering to the covenant, and then let the covenant do some insane stuff, bro. <laughs> I don't think yes. I don't think it's gonna work. <laughs> Technically, you look. Think about this. Think about this. Covenant. All you have to do is kill one of these guys. Either you guys spend a bunch yeah. of resources <laughs> to kill some of my guys, or a bunch of my re re resources. Yeah, and then he kill. moves and sways and wins. <laughs> yeah, it's either one of us is like a turn away from winning, so you just got to choose who you want to win. That's true. Look, guys. <sighs> Indeed. My money, my money is personally in the fact that I should win. <laughs> I think I should win. I think you probably should win because you didn't design this game. <laughs> you, 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 I hold I both climb, of these L's in I the game and in design the game. I climbed this mountain. He did this. Yeah, he got here alone on his own accord. You did this. You did this. Are you delivering? I tag. I deliver and then I I just threw on the board. I just, uh, Where do you actually want man. it? Right here. Whoa. Dude, this space is filled. You can't actually move into here now. It's blockaded, dude. There's no Dang. available spaces at the moment. And I'll... Uh... That destroys every single piece in each of the cardinal directions from it at one time. So, actually, all this is gone. I'm just kidding. <laughs> A nuclear ah, yes. <laughs> oh, my gosh. The X Factor. <laughs> it's like what? <laughs> what is happening? Is the game? X Factor. Oh my god. Oh my gosh! What just happened to my ears? That was beautiful. Who did that? Someone play a that had to soundboard. Been, that had to have been. Nuclear bombs. It's got oh. Ryan. Or swag. <laughs> Ryan. It's Ryan. Of course. It's beautiful. Swag. Swag. I guess the next thing I'll do is uh. I don't, I don't fucking know, man. My cart, my pieces are so awkwardly placed. That's, like nothing. that's fair, man. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna exert to use these cards to move, and then just not. <laughs> Why? Just right, who card. wronged me the just most this car, game? Just as card as <laughs> hand. This freaking guy. Didn't do anything to you. <laughs> we literally it's had It's true. <laughs> you <laughs> blocked. You, you did it. You blocked my one guy here, but it didn't really matter. Do you know? Yeah. What, do you know what? Did, no, no, no. He did do something to you. He built his base here, which that slowed you down. You and then I had, had to, a base I had already it. here. You could have had a base already here last turn, but instead you had to. I know, but his I couldn't. Base. This usurper has been playing. Ultimately, I couldn't win anyways. 
Actually, I, I decided to move my pieces. I, I already got rid of that base. I decided oh, to, oh, I decided to move. I'm running away. <laughs> That's fair. That is a good choice because I can't sway you if you're not around me. I can sway you now. Wait, can you still jump here? Yeah, I can move like that. Oh, shit. <laughs> Yeah, you wasn't super has been fucking with me the whole game. Who was? Man. <laughs> this green guy. Wait, oh. why was I... Why was I... Yeah. He's black you, now. Uh, you're playing him. You've been, you've been using his pieces, recruiting his he ripped pieces. Off, he ripped off and turned his Turned him face. into spies. That's got true. rid of this I base. I'm changing my own. Computer. Oh man! <laughs> use use my, use use my asset. Wait, why? Is I just don't know if you can do anything. The world. Oh, there we go. What? Uh, it's my turn, right? Yeah, it's not here. Right hey, don't worry about it. Actually, it. let's see here. I'm blue because I've been working for the Covenant this whole time. Remember me. I was your usurper. Are you blue? I was your usurper. You don't want that old guy. Come on. Yo, hey! Hey! Uh, yeah, yeah. This is, like, this yeah. is my enforcer. Yeah. Oh, it makes sense. Back to men in blue. Oh! Oh, <laughs> oh, oh. oh my gosh. Do smart. Do smart. Do smart. Oh, yeah. the whole time. Do smart. Here, I got this. No, I understand what needs to be done here. <laughs> kill, kill them all. Kill them. Kill. You wouldn't do that to me. Wait, do I? Do you even not lose if I raise? Uh, it depends on where you place me. <laughs> Does it though? Because like. Uh, because put in the corner. Uh, you'll get, you can you'll, always you'll, just you'll, you'll, you'll put me negative influence is the problem. So then I will have to now gain an influence with you and then be able to sway. Because I can oh, sway, so, yeah, so but I have to sway, have campaign all and sway. Three, Yeah, I need to have all three green. So you, you could probably move him as so far So if you from... put me in the furthest yeah. outskirts of the city, and it will be very tough for me to... to... Literally put him here. You... You, you, hey. Hey. You can do that? Can I put him here? Technically. <laughs> put you right here. <laughs> what's, okay. what's up here? Technically, you, you can't at the moment because at the moment, technically, these spaces right mm -hmm. here are just set up zones for the, for the uh, goth order. Gosh. Because they mm -hmm. don't actually have a circle. What is this? But can you put But you can the... put me on an existing base, which is why you can still put me in one of these two. Strange. Well, so I don't know whether that will change at some point. There might be like half circles here to be official districts, but I don't think oh, that's a good idea. Be... Yeah, but I just don't know. I don't really want a district on the corners because I don't think that would make sense. And also, that would be way too punishing for him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I would be like, holy <laughs> shit, now I would have to go one, two, three just to get back into the game. That might be a little bit too much. Yeah, put him like put him in the corner right. and then have half Ryan. circle here, half circle here. Half Ryan's circle gonna here, raise him again. Here, half circle here. I think Ryan will. Well, Ryan's gonna win. Yeah, I'm gonna win. Yeah, yeah. Ryan's Ryan's got this. Uh, uh, I'm raising, raising your ass. <laughs> You're raising my ass. Yeah. All right. You know what? I'm gonna change my color back to green for this. Yeah. Hulk smash. <laughs> All right. Go ahead. Do your worst. Move me. All right. Want me, man. Your mind to move. I just want to say I'm a little maybe impressed with this decision because I don't like it. Mm, <laughs> how impressive! What I am so, very wait. Happy so can it go about. here? Yeah, it can go. There. Yeah, it can go on an existing base. Yeah. Right. At the mm. at the moment, it can't. It just can't go like technically here. I technically so like here's the thing. I didn't define that these were districts, but technically you could move to. I have to figure out the definition here. That's just something I'm gonna figure out. So now that we've now that we've hit it, I'll clear this up for next time, because uh, I think what I want eventually is for these to be mostly set up zones. But I think districts would be these. Uh, the only thing that wouldn't be a district would be this. Is how I see it. This is like outskirts, 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 outskirts. And there'd be like a 
part of a circle. It wouldn't even be a half circle at that rate. All right. Final, final choice, yeah. my dude. So you yes. lose an influence with me, unfortunately. Oh my gosh, dude, this sucks. And that's it. All right. You really done? Damn, didn't even didn't even you bother using my asset for any move at all? Any? <laughs> you didn't any even asset. spend. <laughs> didn't even didn't even care. Really? Nothing at all. You could have spent. Nope. You should have. You should have reminded him because he probably would have been totally okay with getting another recruit. He has one yeah, guy man. on the board. But to be fair, the game's yeah, over just, next turn, so right. he probably yeah. doesn't care. My so card the, was secure, so. Um, so here's the thing, guys. I won. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, wait, <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I am gonna go ahead and at least get my All right, last. guys. So I just wrote the new rule into the game. <laughs> I win. I just won the game. Wait. So, so can I, uh, put these guys in prison? <laughs> Who? No. You cannot. Put the these ascended. Guys in prison, yeah. Oh, gotcha. they, once they've reached alignment, they're yeah. untouchable. Yeah, they're basically just like I, I'm gonna have to put a thing in to define they're that gods. somewhere. But yeah, they are basically gods. Yeah, exactly. They are ascending. Um, <laughs> all right. You can't put <laughs> they gods are in gods prison now. <laughs> uh, even gods above the uh, line. Huh? All right, guys. I was I was a one influence off in the end. It was all because right. of a kingmaker position. It is your turn. Yeah. Yeah. But what if he doesn't just have a move, guys? Crumbles. Because he, he, he's exerted move, so if he doesn't have a move card, I might have one more. It's true. So I did my I was going to raise. And then, and, then I, and then I do have a move. No! <laughs> yeah, what a cheese, man. Awesome. What a okay, so that's crazy because every single game has ended on either round eight or nine so far.